So video three for today, in the garden, feeling great. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you about the good, the bad, and the beautiful out here in the garden. So the good, I've uh, set up a new compost bin, this, uh, this Dalek over here, and uh, just put it in nice and level and sealed it in around the edges so that's ready to start taking some of this yummy organic goodness. So I'm going to pop that in to start with. Let's hope it fits. Yeah. I might put the cardboard in later just to help it not to go to um, stagnant with the, uh, you know, you need to let, let the air get in there, otherwise it goes a bit putrid. Um, and a little bottle of uh, turmeric juice, jamu, that's uh, gone off. So that can go in there as well, give that back to mother. And um, so the, <laughs> so that's good. That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna, gonna break down and breaks down pretty quickly, makes some nice more soil. Uh, the bad, um, I found some interesting things in the last set of compost that, that wasn't quite doing so well. Um, so in here we have a few things that are, uh, let's have a look. These, knife here, metal spoon, plastic spoon. I'm guessing they probably didn't mean to end up in there. Um, I've also got some assorted bits of metal and wrappers and jar lids and um, and this one was quite a surprise to me. This is uh, this is one of those, or it was one of those biodegradable plastic bags. So um, look, it, it, I mean, it does biodegrade, but seriously, like, takes like way longer. So um, if you got those, I suggest you put them in the bin. Um, don't bother re don't bother composting. They don't really add anything to compost. So the plan is to um, the plan is to show that to everyone in the house, and I'm hoping we can work together. Um, there's also a few things, organic things like avocado pips and avocado peels, uh, mango pips and uh, coconut husks don't break down real quickly so they, they probably best to go in a separate pile to you know, take, take a year or so to rot down. So um, yeah, so this is the, the compost heap that I've been, um, here we go, this is the guy that's been, um, it sort of needs sorting through and all the bits of like non-organic stuff taking out. So uh, anyway, on to the beautiful. Um, this is the bed that Bruce over here, the bed that Bruce helped me to plant out. And uh, it's at the top of the back of the, you know, up the hill at the back of the garden. And I um, plant, planted out some, some kale and some spinach. And uh, it's beautiful that we have this. And it, it's also the last spot in the garden to get the sun. So yeah, you probably can't see it from there, but my footprints are kind of at the back where I was sun gazing and doing the, um, the world bridge of meditation, which is connecting the energies of the sun, the masculine from the sun, the feminine from the earth, um, to, you know, just, and I, I, I was visioning, um, really abundant spinach and kale. So just you, the plants are tiny right now. They're Bruce's seedlings. Um, but what I'm, what I'm, the vision I'm holding is this beautiful, bountiful garden with, with green goodness. So hopefully in a future video, I'll be able to show that to you. And the idea is to produce enough leafy greens, A, for ourselves here in the house, um, B, for our, our community, and C, some, some abundance to, to share or to swap or to give to people. So um, yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So um, this is, uh, yeah, that's uh, enough. So I'm going to sign off now. Ciao. Oh yeah, check it out. <laughs> Proper dirty hands. Feels good.